So eight years ago, there was this company that started in Cleveland, Tennessee, better known as Dose Bros. And since 2015, they've been expanding, expanding, expanding out of Tennessee, up to Chicago. And what it's gonna look like to somebody walking by is Chipotle, Cadoba, that style of freshly made ingredients every day, hand assembled right in front of you, boom, bam, boom. Chipotle says they're really fresh and they, but eh. Dos Bros prides themselves on really doing it. Meats with no hormones, whole beans soaked and cooked in store daily. Their chips are non-GMO using sunflower oil, the salsa is made fresh every day, the peppers are fire roasted on site, cheese is shredded off the block, their guac is made with 100% Haas avocados, and their food is cooked in rice bran oil. I've walked by this place no less than 100 times this past year, and have always wanted to do it for the vlog, so today, for 10K week, we're giving away two more prizes on the show. All you gotta do, drop an ask me anything question on this video, you'll be in the running in the next video, which is an epic one, by the way. But everyone that's done that this week is already in the running for today's giveaway because I got the questions all locked and loaded, ready to go, but let's go grab our burrito. quality of the food is what they're like changing like the tables the setup the way it's done the way the menu's done it's literally Chipotle <laughs> so crazy to me like nothing was different that was like literally like if you plagiarized <laughs> in high school spicy chicken burrito with guac was over eleven dollars so you better bring it dude the rock says this Michael Cole jabroni how do you feel about the match I think it's it gonna doesn't matter. So what am I giving away today? Today you're gonna get something from the Sean store. Seanazon, <laughs> if you will. If I answer your question on this episode today, you get into the wheel of prizes for the Sean store, Seanazon, and you get to pick something from the links below. There's a bunch of different stuff on there of props, things I use to make this vlog work. You can pick one. If you win, and I will send it straight to your home. You could win the towely towel, the steering wheel tray, my car vacuum, a smartish phone case with built-in wallet, this is my whole being, or my metal condiment cups, perfect for dipping. You kind of feel like your kitchen's a restaurant. Let's get out said tray and the Michael S cutting board tray and get into it here. Pretty good, I mean, it's it literally is Chipotle. They had to bring the heat on the napkins too because Chipotle historically, in my opinion, because I'm Shawnee napkins after all, uh, has the best napkins. This kind of feels like a fancy napkin. Look at that. It's not, maybe it is, wow, it's got a good texture. This napkin is a nine out of 10. <laughs> I gotta bring Sean's napkin reviews back and just rank fast food places napkins. Let's get out this tube and start eating it. Very cool that they have spicy chicken on the menu. They had a bunch of different proteins, of course, but Chipotle don't got spicy chicken. This is kind of busting out already though, so that's not great. All right, Tennessee Chipotle. That's what I'm calling you until you impress me. The Shawnee burrito today has spicy chicken, fajita peppers, white cilantro rice, pinto beans, hot salsa, fresh jalapenos, red onions, guacamole, sour cream, shredded lettuce, and shredded cheese. Today's meal paid for by the Rory Boyle Fan Club. Five bucks a month, you get your name on screen like it is now, and you support the vlog for fun videos like this. Let go. I'm making eye contact with a guy right now who's trying to park. Hmm, it's just like Chipotle. Good spice, wow.
If it's better for you, cool. But I would not be able to pick that out of a lineup of not being Cadoba or Chipotle. <laughs> Virtually the exact same. This place might be the definition of imposter syndrome. They have, they should have imposter syndrome. Look what I brought though. <laughs> All right guys, let's get it. Congrats on the 10K. I know Allie's favorite candy is anything sour, but what is yours? Also, hello Lionel. This is what Lionel was doing after that last video I filmed, by the way. He was just sprawled out like he got hit by a bazooka. My favorite candy in the world is a Mars bar refrigerated. It's that simple. They didn't have Mars bars in America for a long time. Now they do, they're the best. It's kind of like a Milky Way, but better. Sean, what's the best stadium food amongst all the Chicago stadium arena venues? It is so far ahead of all the other ones. This is on another planet. Guaranteed rate field, where the White Sox play. World-class food, like better to eat there than many restaurants in the city. I'm serious. If you go to a game, look for Comet Cuban sandwiches and get one. A lot of people don't know this. I used to work for the White Sox years and years ago and I was an on-camera host and we did, we did a bunch of food stuff before number six with cheese and I was obsessed. This woman right here seems to have purchased the extra long hot dog. Like you always say, it's always good to go a little bit longer. Yeah. I've heard you say that. You know what? That's normally not on mic. What's the best Fago flavor? Red Pop. Next question. What's your favorite way to eat a meatball? Sub, spaghetti, by itself? I know I'm Shawnee Sandwiches, but my favorite way to eat a meatball is by itself. Really good meatballs from a really good Italian place. Just fork right through it, so tender, crispy on the outside. Oh! I didn't get that. Could you try again? F off. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, this is amazing. This Chipotle is amazing. You need to find your own personality. My favorite hot sauce on the planet right now, Picolos Pinos from Puerto Rico. Link below. Spice it up. That's a spicy mm. meatball. I can't wait to go to Puerto Rico and go to that restaurant that makes that hot sauce. How did you and Allie meet? We met at work. <laughs> we both worked for Tribune Publishing. Allie still does. She's been there over a decade, it's wild. I was a video director for Red Eye. Went out for post-work drinks as just coworkers, friends, and the rest was history. I actually did a video at the Billy Goat Tavern all about me and Allie's story and our big date, so I'll link that below. You're seeing some of the scenes right now, but go watch that if you want the full story. These two stools right here, stool number one and stool number two, the very first two seats at the bar, that is where Allie and I went on our first fake date. Like, we got off of work together because we worked at the Tribune. No fries, chips, and no Pepsi Coke. And we went down there for just like a post Weak stress, like stress relieving beer or five. I know you guys eat every variety of food, but what's the one ingredient that will ruin the food for you or you just won't eat it at all? There's nothing I won't eat at all, but my arch nemesis, the one thing that I just like only taste when it's in a thing and it just kind of takes me out of it, cucumbers. I love pickles, but for some reason, Cucumbers, like, I'll eat them. Like, whatever. It's just not my thing. Like, I think it's too watery and it's, like, overpowering. I don't like cucumber water. <laughs> Cucumbers are my answer, Corb. Hello, Sean. Thanks for the video. Your drone footage is fire, explosion, fire, explosion. <laughs> Ask me anything. What is a fun fact that your subscribers don't know about you? I seriously cannot get over how game-changing this stuff is. One napkin, though. It is kind of a towel. It's like a napkin towel. In 2011, I made an audition video to be a professional t-shirt wearer. Kind of marketed myself and made this little pitch video. And I was one of four people selected to be a full-time shirt wearer in which I made a video in a different shirt every single day of 2012 marketing a company that like signed up for this iwearyourshirt.com. I was full-time content creating before that, but not me in front of the camera. That started it all. Like that launched all of this. Teach him how to Dougie, he'll teach you how to Ely. Here's how to order. Please have your Facebook and Twitter accounts ready and share, tweet, or rate this video now. And we're not done yet. If you call in the next seven minutes, we'll double your Sean Ely's. That's two Sean Ely's for the price of one. Act now. Is that a fun fact? What store brand food item do you think is better than the name brand, AMA? There's really only one answer to this. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's brand stuff is better than so many name brands. Also, it's annoying, but Whole Foods 365 is great too. It's expensive, but so much better than like Good and Gather. Either this guy in front of me locked his keys in his car, or they're literally just stealing a car in front of me in broad daylight. They've got one of those long things that you use to like pop the lock on a door. Like I don't want to turn around and shove the camera because they'll probably kill me, but <laughs> it's a very busy major road. I don't think they're just stealing this Hyundai. I did Ali's 
boot camp class at the studio today. So this burrito is hitting. Oh wow, this one's a, oh and it's from Ben Bulks. He's a food YouTuber in Great Britain. How long have you been creating content? I have been a full-time content creator since 2010. My first couple years, I was creating content for brands, like I said, specifically. I like was in that agency world. And then I left to do I Wear Your Shirt. We've got Woboba Balls. A GoPro camera. And Tropical Storm Barrel. Let's go have some fun. And I was on camera shooting and editing my own stuff daily for a year, and I never stopped. So the answer is 13 years. Also crazy to think, way before the term influencer was a thing. Like, I was an influencer before anyone even knew that you could, like, do that. <laughs> All the new people make way more money than me, <laughs> but I'm an OG. Why do I have to buy a box buy of Buy a box of t-shirts! Ah, oh, what the f What is your favorite sandwich meat? <laughs> I'm like a deli sandwich, salami. I'm like all meats, like any sandwich, probably smoked, slow, slow cooked brisket. Is there a pizza topping that you would refuse to eat? No, no, I don't think, so. no, there's really not. I'm not a picky eater anymore, I was as a kid. Sardines, pat them, love it. There's really nothing. I one time had an oyster pizza. It was great, a little snotty, but ooh, Ryan, how about a good old Mexican food question? Start, bench, cut. Burritos, quesadillas, tacos. Damn, and I just had that amazing quesadilla and it's gonna get the ax. Burritos, start them. They're gonna take the tip, they're gonna take the jump ball and get the ball and score the first 100 plants. I'd bench tacos, still great, but I'm a burrito dude. And I would cut, oh, didn't make the team quesadilla. Sean, I'm on a mission to watch all your YouTube videos. Almost done. How many are there? I'll email you my faves. I love it, Tom. So there's like 1,700 on number six with cheese. There's 465 on this channel. And then you could go watch all the old I Wear Your Shirt videos. I also have a ton of videos at Red Eye Chicago when I worked there for years and was a content creator. So to answer your question, fucking thousands. Too much of me. 20K next. If you could pick up and move anywhere you wanted, where would you go and why? Great question. I talked about how I want to probably stay in Chicago for a while, but if I had to move and money wasn't an issue, New York City. I love that city, all the tropes of it, like, oh, it's expensive and it's like loud. Dude, I don't care. I love that city so, so much. I get like teary-eyed when I go there. That's how much I love it. So the answer would be New York City. I'm a basket case. Like, I need to keep moving. I need a lot of stimulation. <laughs> and noise and people and just pop, 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 pop. You guys know, people think I'm on coke, dude. It's just me, baby. Have you ever had chicken Vesuvio? Not only have I had it, I've had it from Rico Benes in Bridgeport, in Chicago. Oh my God. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> chicken Vesuvio. Look at the chicken just kind of looping around, all tenderized, and they throw the mayo, the lettuce, the tomato, and then I got some jardinier. Smells insane. Oh my lord. Baby. When you were in Europe, what was a meal that stands out the most and the one that you missed the most? The one that stood out the most and that I missed the most, it's the same one, Turkish donor kebabs. When I went and studied abroad there a million years ago and I had that first Turkish donor kebab off the street, sat on like the, like the little curb with my friends after the bars and I had that, I was like, what is this food? I go back to East Lansing uh, to continue school in America and they opened a donor kebab place on Grand River and I was like the stars of a line the world is about me everything that I want is true and, and great <laughs> and it was so bad so I cannot wait to go back and get a donor kebab in Italy because that's where I'm going in a couple weeks I'm, I'm not going to Turkey so I'm gonna get them they're great in Italy <laughs> Midwest Peru review wow three questions all right let's fire them off do you ever do more than one take Yes. I talk so fast that I end up stuttering and saying something like just so absurd and it makes no sense and then I'm like, I should re-say that. Do you know you're doing a cutaway when you reference something or do you surprise yourself while editing? <laughs> it's a combination of both. Sometimes I'll say something and I'll know a clip will like go there perfectly. Other times I'll like be editing and watching it back and I'll be like, oh, that'd be so funny to put this here. So it's a combination of both. Rory Boyle is obviously based off a college friend, right? He actually is. He's based off a dude in my fraternity with the way he spoke and the things he'd say and he thought he was so fucking cool <laughs> and he wasn't um but yeah it's based off him i hope he doesn't watch these videos also 
Would he know it's him? He doesn't seem very like self-aware. Hey Sean, drums or flats? The people need to know. Drums. I like that baseball bat of chicken more than the bike frame of chicken. <laughs> Corey and I always talk about that on number six with cheese that that's like what it's shaped like. I want to like flats more. I got to get better at like doing the whole like push it and crack it and suck it off the bone. But I like drums. I like eating like it's like a little tiny turkey drumstick or a chicken drumstick. God, I'm dumb. You suck! What restaurant is your and Allie's favorite go-to date night spot? We actually just went here. It's our favorite place to go and just sit and get like a two hour dinner and just kind of like sip wine or get cocktails. And the best thing about this place, you can get half orders of everything so you can try way more stuff. Restaurants don't do that. That is such a game changer. It's an Italian spot called Cortino. It's down in River North. If you're staying down here, go there. Get the burrata, get the tortellini, get the penny alla vodka, take a cute date, realize that she'll probably order you a salad. Also my hack there, get the calamari and the fondue and dip the calamari in the fondue. You're welcome. All right, just a few more. Burrito construction was really good and it is keeping together and not busting out, so good on ya. Is there a restaurant in Chicago you haven't tried yet but want to? I've never dined in at Alinea. I wanna have a group and go there. It's like this whole crazy, many, many Michelin star eating experience. Grant Ackett's, who's a legend, runs the show there. It's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars a person, so it doesn't make sense for me to do that. It's very expensive, but Alinea would be the answer. I did the at-home version with Corey during quarantine, that they loved that video, by the way, so that was cool, but I wanna get the full experience inside there. One more. Since you review so many places, what is consistently your favorite fast food chain, and what is your least favorite? I love this question. Favorite, Taco Bell. It's like the same six ingredients mixed up differently. I don't care. I love Taco Bell. Just such a soft spot in my heart. Probably creates soft spots in my body. Least favorite, Subway. Trash. All right. I am on team bring your own sauce to places. Like bring a small bottle and sneak it in if you don't want to get like in trouble. Just be covert. Or eat in your car and you can do whatever you want. It's a bit lonelier, but you'll, you'll manage. Remember that Akon song? Here, I'm gonna put that on for five seconds and then eat. Lonely, I'm Mr. Lonely. All right, you know the drill. Two winners today. You know what I love about downtown? I am an Xfinity member. So there's just like Wi-Fi everywhere. Everybody who asked a question in today's episode is on this wheel. I'm also recording this on my screen so that I can use that in the edit so you guys can see it a little bit better. I'm also in the car so it's just tougher to maneuver and whatever. So we're doing that. So here we go. Ryan Crona, there we go, Ryan. Something out of the Shawnazon store. <laughs> Jeffrey Bezos. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. See he on Okay, and one more. Here we go. Why is everything Mario? Is it who? Here we go, that's Mario, right? Our second winner today, Triple B. It was really cool also seeing all these people ask questions who don't normally comment that often. So guys, keep commenting. I want to talk to you every day. Uh, Triple B and Ryan Cronaw, congratulations. Hey, Sean Ely at gmail.com. Uh, pick what you want out of the store. Details are below on the description of this video. Pick what you like, give me your address in the email, and I'll send it to you. Happy end of March. That's not a thing people say. <laughs> this guy brought his computer into the car. All right, y'all. The Venmo, the Cash App, the PayPal, if you want to support the show, I appreciate you guys being here each and every day when these videos go live. An epic, fancy schmancy restaurant episode coming soon as well. Thanks to someone anonymously donating to Hundy for me and Allie to go to an epic restaurant. I have to wear a friggin' jacket. <laughs> I'm not talking about a Seattle Supersonics starter jacket. I'm talking like the fancy kind with buttons. So see you guys very soon in the next video. That one will be wild. How's he gonna covertly shoot that one? I could obviously let him film, so he's gonna have to be kind of stealth. I'd say if you have this in your town, try it. Anybody in Tennessee? Is this like, because we're in like every city. This is a big thing in Tennessee, is it? Two brothers up, two brothers down. Go buy that Puerto Rican hot sauce. That's the true winner. Yeah, I gotta keep it trendy on my soul. I'm the most selfish person that I know. Here we go down the rabbit hole. Got a couple carrots from my neck. Self respect when you out of line, you put yourself in check. Uh, they don't hear me, they don't, they don't, they don't hear me though. Cycles going around and around and around.
I spilled some rice. <laughs>